Okay, three, two, one. Fight! Okay. <laughs> Boring. So you may be thinking, how dare you insult this fine, fine instrument, this glossy finish, this natural wood stain. Ooh. I see people painting stuff all over the trends, all over the internet, you know, TikTok, on their guitars too. Like, this is not my idea. I'm not original. I'm sick of my good, boring image. So today, we're gonna go a little bit rebellious. We're gonna ruin this high value item with low value acrylic paint and definitely low-value artistic skills. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is find some reference pictures. And I know exactly what I want it to look like. Kelsey Ballerini has this guitar and has flowers on it. And you know what? I kind of just want to rip that off. Maybe this, <laughs> this pink rose at the top and the bird. But then at the bottom have something a little more like this. And the bird's not gonna be there. Cause like yeah, so that's the current plan. We're kinda like going on this together because I don't know what I'm doing, so I'm gonna work on that and I'll see you with the paint. Got the setup, so we'll just have a little cozy painting session with all of this freedom. It's like, where do I even start? If I get paint on my rug, I'm gonna scream. Oh, this is gonna be kind of a chatty video, but you know, if you're not into that, you get what you get and you don't get upset. So, hi, I'm editing. Um, I got very upset, it was pretty boring. So, here's some snippets instead. Um, taken out of context, I think they're more entertaining that way. Uh, let's hope you agree. Oh my god. Is coming together. It's just helpful to have brown. I'm gonna squeeze like every single paint on the palette, and you can't even see it. I don't have a big budget. Like I can't just get like I can't just see everything. This is just a tray that we don't use. Job security. French teacher looking at me, but um, I think she's gonna predict me like a two. You know, I feel like I'm gonna end up, you know, like 30 years old with a rent I can't pay, you know, in some shitty apartment with rats in the basement day drinking and crying about all my failed aspirations. Worrying about my future is kind of a thing I do a lot. Um, I don't know about you, but it's kind of a thing I do a lot. <laughs> my mom just came in. I don't know if she saw what I was painting. I kind of just like sat here and like... <laughs> I'm actually 151 centimeters exactly. One centimeter short of being five foot. But I like to say that I'm five foot, you know, just to boost my self-esteem. We can try. It's not that bad. It's not as bad as I thought it would be. Where's the tissue? My mom got this apartment in like the 90s, you know, haunted by criminal history. But we don't talk about that. All my colleges that I was thinking of going to are super far reach now. And it's literally all my fault. Worrying about my future is kind of a thing I do a lot. Another thing to look forward to. And then they talk about it. Like they're the ones who invented the philosophy. And I'm like, Calm down. I'm literally using my bean bag as a tripod and my laptop's on there and like my phone is like on the laptop thingy and like the microphone is like, oh, it's just a lot, okay? It's just a lot. I don't want to change it, so you're just gonna have to live with this, okay? You're just gonna have to live with a subpar video. This is my main technique. So what you do is you paint your rose, you just slather a bunch of paint and you paint a rose and then what you do is you get some of that blue paint and then you just do random splotches literally everyone who's a good artist is probably screaming in their rooms right now if you want to paint like blue splotches you gotta do it like in accordance with perspective and lighting whatever contouring whatever whatever but you know i'm too i forgot all of my art lessons from sophomore years so i'm just gonna do some random little dots and hope it works out for the best. Literally, this is not a good technique. Do not follow me. Literally, such a bad example on the kids these days. In school, we're like mentoring kids and I literally told my mentor that I wasn't paying attention in class. I am literally such a bad example. Like, I could get sued. Actually, that was too much blue. I'm gonna fix it. Hold on. 
I was thinking I was gonna get back to the painting after dinner, but literally my ass is still on fire from sitting down for like an hour. I'm literally exhausted. Like, I'm done. I'll see you tomorrow. So don't leave. Don't leave. Because we're gonna paint a bird. Don't you leave. Don't bully me about my hair, okay? Like, my hair was in braids before this, and now it's all like, um, lion as rose would say don't even try to bully me please i got my lululemons on and i'm ready to paint basically what the story here the story of today um do you know how i said i was gonna finish painting my guitar like the next day um that never actually happened um, surprise it's 2022 and i'm back no i'm kidding it's um a good month later though and i haven't touched it uh but i'm back now with the paints and the uh, plate on the palette. Also white, you know, white is a very helpful color. Red's an amazing color. I freaking love red. Red is my favorite color, but also pink. But also pink is like a light version of red, so technically red is my favorite color, but I say it's pink, but you, you get it. I don't know if you've been to an art class, but even shades of blue have like bits of yellow in them. So you don't just wanna like, if you're painting the sky, you don't wanna just put like blue and white. There's bits where it's more reddish and more yellowish, and that's the science of painting. the basic set, which I think is a very appropriate name. Kind of scary when you paint your guitar, like it, it has a feeling to it and the feeling's a little uh, new and wild. Uh, are you ready, all art students, to cringe at how horrible I am at painting? Okay, it will... <gasps> and then, I think I put it too high. I chose such a bad reference picture. Look at the shape of this guitar and then look at mine. Well, too late now. It does not look like a bird. I can always probably wipe it out with alcohol, like other life problems. This is how birds look. So you got the basic outline. Kind of reminds me of a fjord. Kristoff. So that's kind of the white. It makes kind of like a weird, almost M shape. And then you can go a little bit um, darker on the outside of the wing. So, adding some red, so because it just has a little bit darker under. That's purple. <laughs> this bird is fat. Hopefully, baby wipes cleans it up. I just know that looks so weird. Oh my god, it works. Holla freaking Lula. Luya. The sky is kind of nice outside, though. I will show you. Oh my god. The sky is low key. Oh my god. Why is it so gross on my phone? I promise you it's purple. What is this? So, I still have. And maybe we can just skip the wings for a second and skip it to the face because you know maybe they need a little bit of an identity before they can take form so i'm just gonna add some black i don't know i i brown is actually such a great way to darken things especially with skin tones not like i'm gonna be painting a person anytime soon unless you consider a bird to be a person i'm pretty sure there was this one poet who could who like married his bird or something or scientist who married his bird why isn't it coming out do you see that Oh, that's kind of cute though. Actually, no, that's disgusting. Okay, I made a monster. The beak. That is just awful. What? <laughs> you know what? This is why I'm not an artist. I'm gonna revel and take pure black and just add it to the... This bird looks like it wants to end its life. I cannot be the only one who thinks that looks like a tampon, right? I'm kind of doing this black outline thing. Maybe it's time we be bold. At the moment, I feel like I just made a very necklace bird. I'm literally someone called the freaking MoMA. I am here. I am ready to receive my million dollars. Like, please make me a millionaire. That would be so fun. Do you ever, like, imagine yourself being a millionaire? I... 
actually don't but you know now that we're thinking about it now that we're into this topic she's the new she's like she and debbie ryan are kind of on the hit list of tiktok but if i had a million dollars like i would do a grace vanderwall and make a tree house Okay, thank God. I got so terrified for like a half second that the way I painted the bird, it wasn't gonna show up if I hold my guitar like normally, but it, oh, not if I go up, but if you go down. Like... Yeah, the bird, you can see the bird. You know what, maybe we can just give the bird a little friend so that this is less empty. And also because friendship is magic as Twilight Sparkle once said. So what are we gonna have the other bird do? You can't just have two birds flying upwards. A little more, there's yellow paint on the bird! I think art is a journey. You know, like most things, I actually don't know what I'm doing. I don't know how I'm doing this right now. I'm just trying. Now nah, we can do two, we can fit two birds in. Are we good? Oh my god. Okay, that took too long. That took way too long. Anyway, I thought I would pop back in and give you some closing statements, you know? You could have like a little final reveal and you could see the guitar in its full glory. So, if something falls again, I'm gonna flip out. Okay, ready? Okay, three, two, one. Psych! Okay, <laughs> okay, um, three, two, one. <laughs> Ta-da! Okay, so now why don't I give you a little guitar tour? You know, like in the museums when you like go past a painting, there's always more to the story than what meets the eye. So So would I recommend you do this? 100%, 10 out of 10, absolutely. Um, make sure you get permission first though. I didn't, I didn't get permission. Uh, don't follow in my footsteps. I'm literally such a bad example. If you wanna paint your guitar and you didn't buy it yourself, probably get permission first. And if you don't get permission, uh, don't blame me. What do you think? Very nice. What are you doing? Recording? <laughs> Comment down below if you like it. If you don't like it, also comment down below. I'm not about those, you know, one-way relationships. You know, it's a two-way street if you want to, if you want to make ends meet, if you want to, you know, foster that love. But what I mean, <laughs> see you in the, in the next one, I guess. Do you ever just like wanna, do you ever just wonder like, what if I could teleport things? Cause like, I would just love like. <laughs> okay, bye.